recording. All right. So we are ready to go here. We're going to get started with our march in place to get the blood flowing a little bit. And we'll add those shoulder rolls back, especially if you just got out of bed within the last 30 minutes or so. Loosen everything up. If you were gently curled hugging your pillow recently, we'll get that thoracic spine moving a little bit. All right. And relax. We'll do our head tilts. Side to side. We've got a brand new workout for everybody today. We're gonna to rotate next, checking our blind spots. Not any brand new exercises, I don't think. Just a new way to uh, of workout design, full we'll say. Good, relax, big arm circles back. We'll do five, one side. It's gonna be a coin flip workout today. So I've got my coin, good, other side, big arm circles. And we have for each turn or each flip of the coin, we've got a heads exercise or a tails exercise. Relax, cross in front, come up to a Y. So of course, as we go through, I'll be flipping the coin. I promise it's not a trick coin, just a standard US quarter. I haven't programmed it ahead of time to come up on any uh, specific exercises or anything like that. Couple more. Good, and relax. We're gonna do our Jane Fonda step, reach and pull with a heel kickback. Engaging the muscles in the back of the thigh, stretching the ones in front of the thigh a little bit. And relax. All right, a little loose standing torso rotation. You can even get the hips rotating a little bit. all the way down to the ankles, nice and gentle. Couple more each side. And relax. All right, we're gonna do our hip opening series. So first side, we're gonna come up, out, and around, up, out, and around. Last one on this side, up, out, and around. Excellent. We go to the other side, up, out, and around. Two more times, up, out, and around. Last one, up, out, and around. Beautiful. One foot forward now, one foot back. We're gonna rock and reach forward and then sit back into our hamstring stretch. So reach and stretch, reach and stretch, reach and stretch. Last time, reach and hold the bottom. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, switching foot position, other foot in front now. Reach and stretch, reach and stretch, reach, stretch. Last one, we're gonna reach and hold at the bottom. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, getting those Stabilizing muscles warmed up as well a little bit with that one. So feet split apart again for this one. We're gonna reach up and over. Reach. 
reach and relax and reach and relax reach and relax last one we're gonna hold five four three two one and switch other side now reaching up and over and relax reach and relax two more reach relax last time reach and hold five four three two and one good if you've got the space for it you can go into your grapevine if not you're doing your little mini curtsies side to side with me and relax all right we're going to do our side stepper shuffle with jumping jack arms i'm doing it in place just back and forth but you can use the room if you've got it and relax last and final everybody's favorite those walking lunges where you can do them in place with me either a step back or a lunge with a reach overhead yep so if you're doing it in place just like so but otherwise feel free to use the room if you've got it just a couple more and relax all right grab a sip of water if you'd like that's what i'm going to do really quickly so just to review the coin flip workout one more time we're going to do probably five rounds if it moves quickly i'll add a sixth round so don't quote me just yet but we're going to do five flips of the coin each round taking a minute break in between each round and the first flip if it lands on heads we're doing a 40 second plank so that's going to be either on the back of the chair or wall or we can go on the knees or even full plank up on the toes for 40 depending on what you need for the challenge if it is tails we're doing 20 squats that can be body weight squats sit to stands in a chair if you need it or you can always add a dumbbell or a medicine ball for those 20 squats as well second flip if it's heads we're doing either a kettlebell or in my case a dumbbell swing for 30 seconds you can substitute a little deadlift for 30 seconds if the swings a little too intense for you if it's tails we've got either a scissor hop or a scissor step so a scissor hop is crossing the feet coming back out so it's 20 scissor hops or if you're doing the scissor step you're just stepping quickly crossing over side to side so 20 of those for tails third flip is a 40 second wall sit if it's heads so might not be as obvious because i'm using a clear sliding door but your back is flat against the wall and you're just going down as low as you can hold for those 40 seconds all the way down to 90 degrees if needed if it's tails 10 push-ups any style you want wall or on the back of the chair on your knees on the ground or full push-ups flip number four heads is 15 rows i'm using dumbbells for a bent over row but you can do a row with your band as well 
if it's tails, we're doing 20 seconds of backboard taps. So we're either reaching up onto the toes or we're actually hopping and reaching above for 20 seconds. And finally, the fifth flip, we're going to do 10 overhead presses. You can use a dumbbell or if you have a light band that you can step on the middle of, you're raising those weights or handles overhead. If you need to substitute something, you can throw in dumbbell raises instead of those overhead presses. Last but not least, if you're doing tails, light dumbbell, or if you don't have any dumbbells, just do this movement quickly. Rotating uppercut, 30 seconds. Trying to get the heart rate up a little bit with that one, working the core. And if you forgot everything I just said, that's okay. I'll tell you again as we go through. But we're gonna get started. Round one, flip one. Let's see what we've got. Tails for the first flip. So that's 20 squats, either body weight or with a weight at the chest. We're ready and begin. And you don't have to go at my pace, but I'm counting it out. Four, five, six. Use whatever range of motion is best for you. Eight, nine. 10, halfway there, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome. And we're gonna roll straight through because again, we're breaking at the end of each round. Look, it went wild, where did it end up? Uh-oh, I did not anticipate that happening. That's okay. We're gonna make an audible. We're gonna say it was heads for that one. And then I will work on getting a coin going on my phone. So heads for round number two, that's 30 seconds of kettlebell swings or deadlifts. If you're ready, swings or deadlifts for 30 seconds and begin. And while we're doing those, I'm just pulling up a coin flip app because I have no idea where that quarter just went. Of course, that would happen right as we get started, huh? All right, doing great. Three, two, one, and time. All right. Thank goodness for the internet, huh? Flip number three is another heads. So that's a 40 second wall sit. I've got the stopwatch ready. You're leaning up against the wall, sinking to the depth that you need. I've already started the timer, don't worry. If you're sitting there saying, hurry up already, the time is going. We're at 10 seconds already. All right. It's okay, it might be a little easier for me to do that coin flip virtually on my phone anyways. But I can't believe you. On flip number two, it went wild and ended up underneath my cabinet out here in the sunroom. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Ooh, those wall sits burn, don't they? For flip number four, we have a tails. That's going to be 20 seconds of backboard taps. Ready and begin. Mm. 
Yep. Not necessarily going for a max height on each one, just as many reaches as we can do in 20 seconds. And time. All right. Flip number five, and then we'll rest. A heads again. So we're either doing 10 presses overhead or 10 raises out to the front. Take a deep breath. All right. Ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Let's take a 60 second rest here. Just catching your breath, grabbing water if you need it, and we'll do the same thing after every round. Now we're definitely warmed up, huh? So we've got a mix, aerobic options, strength options, plyometric options, but the coin, or in this case, Google's coin flip app decides our fate. Got another 10 seconds of rest. All right. As we're finishing up, I'm gonna start the first flip. All right, so our break is over. We are ready to get started. First flip is heads. So that's a 40 second plank. You can do it on the back of a chair or the wall, or you can do it on the ground, on the knees or the toes. I'll give you a second to get there. Three, two, one, and begin. All right. 40 second plank. Keeping the glutes tight, stomach tight. Belly button up. Elbows right beneath your shoulders. Doing great. Just about five seconds to go. And time. Awesome. All right. Flip number two. Heads again. So that's going to be a 30 second kettlebell swing or 30 seconds of deadlift. I'll give you just a moment. I'm gonna start that time in three, two, one, and begin. Just like so, hinging at the waist, keeping a neutral spine, squeezing those glutes as we push the hips to the front, extending five seconds, three, two, one, and relax. All right. Take a couple breaths. Three heads in a row here. So for flip number three, it's a heads 40 second wall set. So we'll have those thighs burning a little bit, but in a good way, ready and begin.
And if the full 90 degree depth is a little tough for 40 seconds, just hang out somewhere that you can maintain that position for 40. Push the heels into the ground here so we're not just getting quadriceps, but we're getting some hamstrings as well. You don't want to be heavy in the ball of your foot. You want to put a little more weight in the heel. Yep, doing great. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Ooh -wee. All right. You know, I'm beginning to think this thing is rigged. Four heads in a row now. Flip number four heads is going to be 15 rows. Dumbbell rows, band rows, whichever you've got. We're doing 15 of them. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. One more coin flip, and then we're taking another rest. Oh, finally a tails on this round. So that's 30 seconds of those rotating uppercuts, dumbbells, or just quickly with your fists. Ready and begin. Yeah, keep those palms towards you. Core engaged. As we rotate side to side, keep the belly button in. Turn the head with the shoulders. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. One minute rest. Grab some water. Take some deep breaths here. Now we've got the hang of it after two rounds. I think we should be good with five total rounds. I don't think we're gonna need that sixth, but we will see. For round three, I'll definitely have to open up my sweatshirt a little bit, that's for sure. All right. Take 10 more seconds, and then we'll start round three. Okay. Round number three, flip number one, starting off with a heads. So that's gonna be a 40 second plank. Again, you can do that on the back of the chair or the wall, on the knees or on the toes, whichever is most appropriate for you. Give you five seconds to get into position and then we'll get started. Three, two, one, and begin. So again, stomach tight, glutes tight, Breathe here. I know, I know it's one of those where you ask yourself, how do I keep my abs tight and breathe at the same time? But I promise with practice, you'll get the hang of it. Yep, squeeze those glutes. Try not to shrug and round those shoulders. Stay nice and long. And time, awesome. Beautiful. Give you a moment to breathe and stand up. Oh. 
All right. Flip number two here. We've got our first tails for the second flip. That's 20 scissor hops or scissor steps, crossing the feet, shifting the weight side to side. So I'm gonna do hops, but you can feel free to do steps if you'd like. 20 times, ready? All right, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. Now we're ready for the river dance. I'll try not to hop too loudly so I don't wake up Anne downstairs. It's Saturday morning. She deserves to sleep in today. All right. Believe it or not, heads again on flip number three. We're going back for that 40-second wall set. I wonder if we'll ever get to a push-up. That's okay, wall sits are great. Ready? And begin. Well, I suppose it depends on your definition of great though. Great for you. Maybe not something you choose to do on a Friday evening for fun, but who knows? Maybe you have the same sixth sense of what fun is just like me and the rest of the Vitality team. Breathe here, keeping that back against the wall. Less than 10 to go. Three, two, one, and time. You can do a couple kickbacks if you need to keep those quads loose. All right. Flip number four. We're doing rows, it's a heads. Grab your band or your dumbbells. 15 times, ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, beautiful. Flip number five. To finish off the third round is a tails. We're doing those uppercuts again. 30 seconds. Grab your dumbbell if you're using it. Otherwise just fists. Ready and begin. Yep. Yeah. Making sure you're not coming across and over, but up. Yep. Letting the head turn with the shoulders. Doing great. Yep. How are we doing? Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and break. Good, grab some water, catch your breath. All right. Sweatshirts ready to come off now for round four. We're officially warmed up out here in the sunroom, that's for sure. I'm just as we're breaking out of curiosity, I'm gonna see what temperature it is. 46 in Rockville right now. So congratulations, you've got me working hard enough that I am no longer wearing a sweatshirt that's 46 out. Probably a little warmer out here in the sunroom, but not, not too much warmer. 
And if I'm working hard, that means you're working hard as well. So awesome job. We're gonna keep rolling through for round number four. Flip number one. The tension is mounting. It's a head. 40 second plank. All right. I'll give you a little time to get into position, whether you're doing it on the wall or the floor. All right. Three, two, one, and plank. Good. Belly button up, not letting it droop down, keeping the glutes engaged so those hips stay extended and breathe. Elbows right below the shoulders for good support. Yeah. Abs and glutes work together on this one. Less than 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and time. Ooh. Little tougher on the hard stone out here, but a little callus on the elbow never hurt anybody. Card or flip card. I'm so used to a deck of cards workout. Listen to me. Flip number two is a heads. We're doing 30 seconds, kettlebell swing or deadlift. You can keep your swing going. I'm going to do deadlifts on this one just to make sure I'm modeling the form for both exercises. All right, 30 seconds, ready, and go. And like I said, if you're doing the swing, that's fine. I'm just trying to make sure that I model both. It's a hip hinge that is the focus for either exercise. So of course, glutes engaged as we extend the hips. Three, two, one, and time. Is it gonna happen? Are we going to finally get our tails? Where did my coin flipper go? Oh, would you look at that? Tails, I promise. 10 push-ups for our third flip. On the wall, on the back of a chair, down on the knees, or full push-ups. We'll count them out together. Ready? Starting position and begin. Down, one, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Took us until the fourth round to get those in, but we finally got something other than that wall sit. Flip number four, it's a heads again for flip number four. So we'll be doing those rows again. That's good though. It'll balance out the work we just did on the push-ups. 15 rows, ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more flip. We'll take a rest. It's a heads, we're pressing again, or that dumbbell raise if the press is a little tough for you. So either an overhead press or a dumbbell raise. 10 times, ready? And one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, straight up to the ceiling, eight, nine, and 10. Grab some well-deserved water, catch your breath. We've got one more round and then we're there. You are 80% of the way done. Excellent job. This coin, or in this case, Google's coin flip, it's making us work this morning, huh? Another couple deep breaths. I'm curious, so I'm flipping ahead of time. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and start that last round in 10 seconds. I'll let you know ahead of time. It's a tails for the first flip. So that's 20 squats, body weight, or with weight, 20 squats. I'm using a medicine ball, but you can use any weight you'd like, even sit to stands if needed. 20 times. Ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, halfway, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, yeah, keep that posture, good chest out. Five, four, three, two, push through the heels and one. Awesome. Flip number two, heads. So we had four heads for that one. That's our kettlebell swing or deadlift, 30 seconds. All right. Ready and begin. 30 seconds, swing or deadlift. Squeeze those glutes. And time. Beautiful. That's two coins down. Three more to go. Heads, 40 second wall sit again. We might as well finish off with the tough ones, right? We're already this far. Ready, begin. If you're in your socks like me, I know by this late in the game, they're getting a little slippery. I'm on a hard tile floor. but just adjust again if needed. Weight in the heels so it's not all quad, but we're getting some hamstring underneath the thighs as well. 10 seconds. You got it. Yep, five, four, three, two, one, and time. woo -wee. Two more coins to go. It is the day of heads, apparently. Heads again. For flip number four, that's 15 rows. I'm gonna have to talk to Google about their algorithm here. All right, ready 
and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Beautifully done. Can you believe it? We are finally on the last coin flip. Is it presses? Is it rotating uppercuts? It is rotating uppercuts to finish off. 30 seconds. Fists or dumbbells. Ready? Begin. At this point, you can pretend my face is in front of you for making you do all of this work on a Saturday morning. Why am I seeing everybody punch harder as soon as I say that? Doing great. 10 seconds to go. Keep that core tight. And time. So awesome. Give yourselves a huge pat on the back. Grab some water. Take a second to catch your breath. Way to start the weekend off strong. We've just got a little bit of a cool down. Two exercises on your stomach today. We're doing child's pose and then a little of that sphinx, thoracic spine mobility as well. So take your time. When you're ready, you're gonna come down into just a child's pose position and breathe. Sitting back on the heels, head down, arms out and breathe here. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Yep, we're slowing down the breath. Not holding it, just slowing it down. Dropping the heart rate a little bit. Dropping the blood pressure. Letting those muscles loosen up a little more. And relax. Come out on flat onto your stomach with your elbows by your side and hands on either side of your face. And we're gonna do that Sphinx mobility exercise. So just to demonstrate, we're coming up and back down. So just a two count up and then back down. Ready, begin. Just a little extension in that mid back and back down. Make sure you're not hinging all the way at the lower back. So you don't wanna to lift too high. At the same time, we're making sure not to shrug the shoulders, but get the head to look up as well. Two more times. Good. And relax. And we're already over time by a minute or two. But if you're still feeling out of breath from that challenge, you can also add two minutes of deep diaphragmatic or belly breathing for a cool down. 